Welcome back to HookahWholesalers.com. Special guest for you today, we have Bassam, inventor, creator, hookah extraordinaire. He's the owner of Medwalk.com. We're gonna ask some questions today, get to know him, get inside his brain a little bit, hear what he's got to say, learn more about the product. Bassam, welcome, welcome. And we'll start with you back in the beginning, Doha. Maybe people know about it, maybe they don't. Maybe some of our retailers have seen it or they're not sure what it is. Can you, you know, let's just start from the beginning. Yeah. What is Doha? Doha, Doha is tobacco raised in a used in the desert of Dubai and between uh, Oman and United Arab Emirates. It's in a valley and because the sun is so scorching hot, it kind of helps with the nicotine intake. So that's why it's literally raised and abused by the sun. And there they just straight up cut it off. There's no pesticides, no nothing. This is organic as you think it would be. Straight from the plant, flipped upside down in a shed just to keep the green color and then processed from there, sent to me. Done. So I got into Doha when I was selling Caterpillar machines to the Middle East when I was still going to college. When I came back, I came back with some Doha. I also owned the hookah lounge. Uniquely enough, I was driving from uh, Lawrence, Kansas to Chicago to get some tobacco supplies and shisha supplies and I ran out of Doha that I brought with me. Now that's about like late 2005, early 2006-ish. So I went online to even search of La Doha and it was not to be existing. Nobody talked about it. There's just nothing about it. So I started the whole Wikipedia pages, just anything I know about Doha, put it in there. I even You started the Wikipedia of Doha. Of Doha. Wow. A few months go by and the great PlayStation 3 came out. My friend from Dubai wanted to buy a PS3 and he was currently going to University of Kansas. And I told him, why don't you take my PS3? Send me back like 700 bucks with a Doha. That's how my life started. It worked. He ended up sending it to me in like vials and bottles and pipes and everything. And the first thing that I did is went to hookah forms. And back then there were no hookah forms. It was just one or two. And that was called hookah pro. And then other pipe tobacco and cigar forms that existed back then. And I was like, the first hundred people that contact me right now, I'll send you a free pipe, free doha, free filter. The only thing I ask for in return is to make me a YouTube video. Medwalk.com yeah. was going live. What so happened? I told him in a month, Medwalk.com will be going live. That was in about early 2006. Sure enough, my first month after the sale, I got five sales on it. All of a sudden from five, it went to 15, then went to 20, and all of a sudden I couldn't keep up with my caterpillar industry and I had to let that go. Well, let me ask you more about Doha. You know, some of our retailers, maybe they're not sure about it. There's cold, warm, hot, X hot, like what, yeah. what, what's the difference? So with the leaf, so imagine I'm the stem, right? And my hands are the leaf. This part of the leaf is the furthest, and that's the coldest of the doha. The middle part is the warmest, and the one closest to the stem is the hot. So that's why we got cold, warm, and hot. And then with that, there's different doha that is raised in the shade, different doha that's raised in like the more sun-affected areas, and really it's mix and match of those making your different styles of doha. There is so many, you know, so that's why most important though is the cold, warm, and hot. So as a retailer, if I'm wanting to bring Doha into my store, I don't know much about it. What do I need to bring in as far as like, what would you, is a good starting like number of like blends? What accessories am I going to need? Do I need all hots, mediums, colds? Like what, like, what would be like the ideal kind of way to get started uh, in a retail store? Uh, most popular right now are the warms. So I'd say if you order, make sure 60 to 70% of your order is warms, cold and hot. So the hot, you got the more enthusiast like, Ah uh, man, I just give me something where my lungs is gonna burn. So you just we got that for you. you know? Right. Cold is a good starter for people that never tried it, but you'll see them easily moving to the warm flavors. And this on your clientele. If your clientele are Arab desk based, they're used to non-flavored, like Abu Muhammad, Abu Hamza, Yusuf Riba, Bin Khumeri. Our most most popular non-flavored is AK-47, G-55, famous. But then if you're mostly mixed between Americanized and whatever, we have a brand called Nirvana Doha, which comes in with crazy names like Lightning, Sex Monkey, whatever, and explains what the flavors are on them. Some of them are like melon, strawberry, but non-flavored are usually the most top selling. The Nirvana line mostly cold, warm, or hot? Or uh, mi mix, mix also. Mix also. So we have a flavor called Mind, for example. So mm -hmm. that's 
extra hot. Clearly, yeah. So, and <laughs> it's a top seller too. So yeah. Uh, also, if you're in a store where you'll need to carry our little like, four things, and that's this is the medwach pipe. That's the medwach pipe, and then you will need the filter guy. And those are really good in business because they'll always run out and buy some more. And so I would say, typically with retailers, when you sell someone the pipe mandatory pack of filters exactly. to get them started, exactly. right? Exactly, and pack cleaners. And then most important, the docha. So really you'll need the four. So the docha, tobacco, the pipe, the filter, and the pipe cleaners. Those are the good self starters. So I'm gonna go ahead and get really, really buzzed for you guys. I, I mean, you know. <laughs> so this one right here is AK-47, and it's an over warm. So what you do is you got a lip right here, the way I like to load it. A lip right here, you put your finger like this, and you grab it like this. And then you load it in. Some people might scoop. Is there any problem with doing that? Just scoop. put the pipe in there. Depends you can scoop on your it right pipe. Out. Like these pipes. Like these pipes are a lot smaller than this one, so you can easily just like just scoop it in. Okay, perfect. And you can see, for everyone who hasn't seen it, it's a very dry um, pipe tobacco. Like you can see, like very dry, very green. Generally, a pretty high nicotine. Serving. So the way you tell them to smoke it is you smoke it like you smoke a cigarette. So you take a puff of the cigarette, then you inhale, and then you blow. So the same thing you do with some docha. You keep your lighter lit, you bring it in here, and you inhale. Then after you're taking some oxygen, you get the buzz. Oh yeah. So yeah. <laughs> like, um, so you go between two, three, four times the way I did it. And once you get it, you get it. You get that fix right away. Because it can, for maybe someone who goes too hard, too heavy, it can be a little bit intense at first. Yeah, yeah, intense. That's why the different levels. So start with the cold if you never tried it before. And, and then you'll see yourself moving up. From there. Is there anything we left out about in regards to Doha's the high margin product? Very high margin product. And high repeat rate. It's a consumable. They're exactly. burning through not only the product, but the accessories, the cleaners, the tips. Exactly. So everything they'll come back for more. This is not competing against hookah tobacco at all. This is competing against cigarette smokers. Beautiful. Well said. And again, thank you so much for spending your time here with us. Thank you from hookahwholesalers.com. Thank you, Adam.